Before beginning the campaign, I'd like to go over the structures that will be available to you from the start, as well as some of the in-game commands. First is the Command Center. Without one of these, you'll be unable to see the minimap, nor be able to use the Unit Designer. Unlike Command Centers or Town Halls in other RTS games, however, these are its only two functions. You don't need to drop off resources or build workers here, and if it's destroyed, you can just have your trucks build a new one. Next is the power generator. This connects to the oil derricks to generate the game's only form of currency, power, seen here at the bottom of the screen. One generator can run up to four oil derricks, and you can have up to five generators. The generator in this screen is currently managing four oil derricks, as is indicated by the four blue clouds circling the center spire. Third is the research labs. Even after finding the old world artifacts, you will not be able to use them until you have researched them. Note that one artifact may open up more than one technology, or even more than one series of technologies. Fourth is the factories, where you will build the units you design. Note that the factory on the right is larger than the one on the left. Once heavier units become available, you will need larger factories to produce them. Right-clicking on a factory will give you a menu where you can give orders to units that are built at that factory. The top row is firing distance, optimal short and long range. Whenever you give a unit a direct command to attack something, this will choose how far away it fires from. Long range is its absolute maximum, short range is right up in its face, and optimum is the longest range at which the unit can fire with maximum accuracy. The second row is a conditional command to retreat to the nearest repair bay, or the command center if none exist, if the unit reaches certain damage thresholds. Do or die means the unit will never auto-retreat, retreat at heavy damage means the unit will run when it hits red health, which is about 50%, and retreat at medium damage means the unit will run when it hits yellow health, which is about 75%. Note that if you make a control group, done by highlighting units and hitting control in a number key, if a unit passes this damage threshold, it will automatically disconnect itself from the group. This is useful so that if a unit is in mid-retreat, it doesn't turn around just because you've reselected its group. It does mean you'll have to remember to go back and get it after it's done repairing, at least up until a certain part of the campaign, which would be a minor spoiler if I gave away now. The third and fourth row are the unit's automatic behavior when it comes under attack or is given a non-target move order. The third row is its firing discipline, where you can choose from fire at will, return fire, or hold fire. And the fourth row is where you choose its movement discipline, either hold position, guard position, which will chase an enemy about half a screen, or pursue, which will chase a target until it either dies or you give it another command. Once a unit comes out of a factory, you can adjust its orders by right-clicking it. Most of the commands are the same, save for patrol, which allows you to click on multiple spots and have the unit move between them repeatedly, and instant commands. Return for repairs, which will send the unit to the nearest repair bay or command center if none exist. Return to HQ. Go to transport, if you're loading up for an away mission. And recycle, which you can use to recover some of the cost of the unit, as well as save its driver to be placed in the next combat unit to be produced. It doesn't matter which factory the unit recycles at, wherever and whenever the next combat unit is produced, the recycled driver will be in it. And lastly, the options in the lower left. They are the top left option, which is grayed out in a minor spoiler, so I'll hold off on it. The lower left option, which is Intel. In the campaign, this will be a log of your orders and mission cutscenes, as well as any new major technologies you've researched. The bottom center is the unit designer. Here you can edit an existing design or create a new one by choosing a body, propulsion, and weapon from the list of research components. The bottom right is the building construction menu. This will open up the build screen. You can place multiple buildings by holding shift while clicking, and if you haven't already, you can select your trucks from the bottom center. The top right is the research menu, where you can assign research projects to your labs. And the top center is the factory menu, where you can order your factories to build your unit designs. The atomic symbol in the center is just a global close all menus and deselect everything button.